Okay, this is going to be uh, how to use this program here to um, edit these sprites. So you're going to open the ROM and for the um, sprites, let's see, I think it's this 058. Yeah, this looks like it's it. So if you view this one, RLCN is the palette, and then this one is the graphic, and that's how you load the image, and then this one, RECN, I'm not really sure exactly what that stands for, but it like, it's like each frame of animation, and, but, so this one only has one frame, so that's that one there, let's go down to silver, which should be 5, 95 so 96 for this palette 95 for his graphic and then uh, 97 here for the um, frame thingy so those are each those are each frames so I'm gonna uncheck this here just to have the background color and we're going to export these and let's uh, make a folder called images just to hold these real quick so that's cell 0 export cell number 1 and let's export cell number 2 now let's minimize this so you have him here they're exported and you can see there's like this big blank space around the actual frame and for some reason that needs to be there I tried importing frames that had them cropped but the program was not working so we're gonna have to have these giant things here and let's open all of these here so now just to show that the image is being edited I'm just gonna draw a little thing on here just so I don't have to make a new palette and worry about if it's 16 colors or not, I'm just going to copy one of the colors already in the palette and then just draw with the pencil tool. So this is frame 0, so I'm just going to draw a 0 there real quick. Number 1, I'm going to draw the 1, and for number 2, I am going to draw the 2. Now let's save these real quick. save that one and save this one now those are the uh, edited you know they could be whatever you wanted to be edited to now let's go back in here and go to cell zero make sure if if you're um you know doing a complete replacement that's probably going to have a new palette you probably do replace palette here but since I'm just doing a small edit I'm going to swap to the original palette and I'm going to import that for number zero I'm going to import this one for one and I'm going to import this one for two so now you can see the frames are loading properly here and they show my edit so that means the actual graphics file itself has been edited and you can see the little lines for the numbers because this is just like some scrambled mess where it's like a bunch of blocks of the image now I'm going to have to export this because for some reason, if you rebuild the ROM with this edit made to this um, frame file, whatever it is, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it shows a bunch of little pictures of like frames there, so I'm calling it the frame file. It The ROM does not work. Let me actually show you real quickly. If I just uh, click on here and click pack to repack my edited files into this thing, and then click save ROM and save the ROM here if I go 
into here and load it up real quick. You will see that his the sprite gets all glitched out. This is what I figured out when I was trying to figure out how to do this real quick when you asked me on Twitter earlier. So I know that's not working. So I'm like, well, I don't know why it's doing that, but I know that it's actually editing this, this, and this is what it's pouring in here, the actual graphics file. So to export this properly, we're going to set the width to 80 because these sprites are um, by 80. But since there's multiple frames, we're going to have to expand this a couple of times until we hit that transparentness and then back it out. So this one will be 80 by 240. And it's just going to um, extract this here. So this is what we need really. I know if you edit just this file, it does not break the sprite. So we're going to close out of here, not save the, save this. Um, and we're going to reopen the main ROM again without any edited to it. We're going to go back into here. We're going to go back all the way down here. C595. Okay. Probably open the palette. Open the graphic. Set it to 80 by 240 again. And let's see. Yep. One extra tick would have the transparency, so we're going to back down one. Again, if you're swap, if you're putting in an image that does not have the same colors, you would probably want to replace the palette. But I'm just going to do a swap palette, so that I think that what this does is it matches the colors in the palette already. So since I didn't add any more colors, it should be good to go. So there's the new graphic with the bits of all the numbers I added there. Let's go back up here. Pack that up. And then save to the test. And then open the test in here. Now, when he shows up, he should have those numbers by his, uh, his sprite. Let's check it out real quick. So it goes 0, 1, and 2. So there you go. Hope that helps.